from relationship splits to lawsuits to championship predicaments. AJ Styles, Brock Lesnar, Survivor Series. We're going to be covering it all right here on the Brash, the Brazen, Sean's View Entertainment to keep it prolific consistent and dedicated remember to smash that bell subscribe turn on all notifications and leave your comments share my videos all over facebook and twitter viewers and subscribers over the last 24 hours the news has been significant it has been controversial it has been red hot it has been a scorcher and i'll tell you what with turkey day with thanksgiving coming up the expectations, the anticipations, you got war games, you got Survivor Series, you got the intangibles, you got the intensity, you got the integrity of a current angle, and then you got all the news, the rumors, the hearsay, the speculation in the way, and we're going to cover it all because it's going to be the brash way. So viewers and subscribers, David Otunga is no longer with Jennifer Hudson, and she doesn't even want him involved, doesn't even want him in the picture. She wants full custody of her kid. Now, to me, that's sick, that's sad, and that is disgusting. Because for any woman that wants to take full control and doesn't want the father in the picture when he has no record, when you know, when 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 there's no reason to do it, just other than the fact of to feed your own, feed your feed your own inner person. I I I just I don't know, you know, why a girl would want to keep. A guy, a father, a dad, you know, and once once again, if, if there's nothing there, you know, j just doing it because, you know, you're vengeful and, and you're horrible and, you know, you, you want the current guy that you're with to be the dad when he's not the real dad. You, you know, the, the situation is effed up. I mean, any woman that doesn't want the real dad who doesn't have no record, who's never been fined, who's never been pulled over, who's never been jailed, who's never dealt with drugs, who's never dealt with drinking, if the dad has no problems or, you know, you know, hasn't assaulted you, ha you, know, you know, listen, no one's perfect. You know, at the end of the day, everyone has their own things. You know, no nobody is perfect, okay? Let's call a spade a spade. But for Jennifer Hudson, to do this, and once again, you know, I don't know, I mean, I, I'm just going off of what I've seen and read, obviously, there could be a lot more to this, maybe, you know, from what I've seen, uh, you know, uh, online, it looks like, you know, that o Otunga had a good relationship with the kid, um, so, I, I mean, the fact that this has happened, and the fact that this is going on, you know, to me, it's, you know, I, I, I don't know, it's 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 one of those things where it's, it's kind of hot to put your finger on that button, and, you know, once again, who's to say if he did something or if he didn't, but if he didn't do anything, and she's just doing this in spite, if Jennifer Hudson is just doing this in spite, and to have full control and command, and for him to not be in the child's life anymore, to not be in the kid's life anymore, is sick and reprehensible, but if David Otunga truly did do something that warrants her not wanting him to be in the picture, well then she's right and he's in the wrong, but I still think that he deserves to have some kind of say or, you know, gets to see it, because there's a lot of guys in this world, quite frankly, that don't want to be involved with their child, and that's sad. There's a lot, I've seen so many dads that don't want to be involved, and, you know, or they want to be involved, and then the girl shuts them out. The girl doesn't want anything to do with them. The girl says, no, get out of here. I want the current guy that I'm with to be the father. I want him to be the person. I want him, even though it looks nothing like him, even though he, she acts like nothing like him, even though it, whether it's a he or a she, the current guy you're with, that's not the per that's not the kid you had the, 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 the baby with. It's not. It, it's just not. And I'll tell you what right now, from personal experience, I know what that's like. I know what that's like to have a kid and when you want to see her and not be able to see her, I know what that's like. I I, I do on, on, on so many forms because you see, I'm not going to bring my personal life into this, but there's occasions that I want to see my kid and quite frankly, I can't. And so, you know, it, it comes to a point where, you know what? I want to see my kid. I love my kid. I love my daughter. She is what means the world to me. But personally, um, you know, when I am told no, I can't see her or when I'm ignored, it kills me. It hurts me. And I can't tell you, I, I, like I said, if David Otunga has no record, no past, like me, I've never been arrested, I've never been jailed, I've never been fined, I've never been suspended, I've never done drugs, I've never done any of that stuff. And for me to be denied entry to see my daughter is the worst feeling in the world. When I don't have friends, okay? When I don't have a girlfriend, when I don't have this and when I don't have that. So I can relate to what David Otunga is feeling because it hurts. 
it hurts beyond recognition, okay? All right? So, I mean, I've been, like I said, it's not that I, I can't see my kid ever. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying I don't see my kid ever, but there are times when I do want to see my kid and I can't see my kid. So, that's, that's the times that hurt me. That's the times that hurt me. And I'm not one of those guys that would take the mother away or try to challenge, oh, well, I want full custody. That's not right. You don't do that. If you're right in the head and if you're stable and you're able and you have respect, you, no matter if you're with a guy or not, if you had a son, if you had a daughter, if you had a kid with that guy, it took two to make that kid. And once again, without reasonable doubt and without the fact that, oh, this guy has no record and you don't want the guy in the life and you don't want him to see your kid, it's absolutely sick and it's reprehensible. Once again, if David Otunga did do something that warrants her not wanting to, wanting to him, not wanting him to see their kid, well, then it's justified, but there still should be some kind of, you know, whether it's, you know, seeing the kid, you know, supervised visitations. I still think, you know, the father should have some sort of relationship, some sort of something with, with, with their son or daughter, once again, as long as they didn't do something very horrible and sadistic and, and out of the way. Ric Flair is reportedly suing a management company, uh, but Ric Flair's former management company, Legacy Talent and Entertainment, spoke with TMZ, and uh, they issued the following response to the, I guess, the lawsuit that Ric Flair, because Ric Flair is suing a former management company for stealing his money. I mean, as if Ric Flair already hasn't been through enough, as if Ric Flair hasn't already been through the mud, as if Ric Flair hasn't already know what it's like to suffer hell. The guy almost died earlier this year. I mean, he suffered a health... I mean, he was on his deathbed, and Ric Flair is still here, and Ric Flair is still with us. So whether Ric Flair is right or wrong or whatever, the, the fact of the matter is, I think Ric Flair has already been in his back as it is. I, I, I think Ric Flair, you know, you need to. we need to lay off Ric Flair a little bit here. I mean, we're lucky he's still alive. We're lucky we still get to, uh, you know, he gets to, you know, grace our presence. We get to see him on our TV screens, and we get to hear him on podcasts and whatever. Um, Bret Hart bragged about punching Vince McMahon out at the Survivor Series, saying it was the best punch anyone could ever throw. And we know Survivor Series holds a lot of significance, a lot of controversy, and that's the controversy I'm talking about. But ladies and gentlemen, what you want to talk about the WWE Universal Championship, the WWE Championship, SmackDown, Raw, SmackDown Live versus Monday Night Raw. Can you imagine the intrigue behind this? AJ Styles and Brock Lesnar. Rumors that Lesnar is going to win, but it's going to be tainted. There's going to be something behind it. Jinder Mahal is going to get in the way. All these rumors that this match is going to end shockingly with, remember when uh, Bret Hart went against Diesel, and I think it was at Survivor Series. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but many, many years ago in the early 90s, Bret Hart was beaten, he was down, he was battered, he was bruised, he was tired, he was hurt, he was all those things, and Diesel had everything his way, it looked like he was going to powerbomb Bret Hart, it looked like he was going to win the title, it looked like he was going to walk out of Survivor Series with his, his arm held high, and all of a sudden Bret Hart catches Diesel in a small package, covers him, pins him, one, two, three, out of nowhere. Rumors that a finish like that could happen, shockingly, where AJ Styles is out and down, it looks like AJ Styles has nothing less left. And then Brock Lesnar's going to pick up the pieces. And then AJ Styles comes in out of nowhere, seemingly out of nowhere, and comes up with a roll-up or, you know, a small package. Some kind of maneuver, some kind of pinfall victory that Brock Lesnar... And I, quite frankly, I think that's the way they should go with it. I don't think we should see interference. I don't think we should see controversy. I don't think we should see conflict. You know, the, the, the match is already amazing in itself. The match between Lesnar and AJ Styles is already compelling and intriguing in every sense of the word. So we don't really need to go there with outside interference but then you know you get you get, then I, I i see things from both spectrums i see things from both sides every time i talk about rumors news and headlines i can see why they would want to have jinder mahal in the match because they have to insert jinder mahal in because we don't even see jinder mahal ever since jinder mahal lost the wwe title he hasn't been seen or heard from so I can see why the WWE would want to insert Jinder Mahal back in such a major way, especially with the fact that he was originally supposed to face Brock Lesnar. The fact it was going to be him and Lesnar one-on-one, -on -one, I can see why that would irritate and that would um, agitate and that would make mad one Jinder Mahal. I, I get that. But, uh, you know, I, once again, I'm looking at it from both spectrums. I hope AJ Styles wins. I'm a big Brock Lesnar fan. Don't worry, I am a huge Lesnar fan. I'm a huge AJ Styles fan. It's very hard for me to decipher and pick who I want to win the match. I'm telling you that right now. It's, it's the truth. 
Um, but viewers and subscribers, uh, Randy Orton was shown getting ready in a bathtub with his girl, and you know she had a, his <laughs> she had her foot on his chest, and he's he's, he's I, it was, it was, what a heck of a picture. And, and I'll tell you, the, the animosity between Kevin Owens and Randy Orton that is heating up. The animosity, and and the, the, there's some I guess there's some actually legit heat backstage. Uh, on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, and you know Randy Orton is not one to. I guess, I guess this is almost like a shoot between Orton and Owens, and the things that are being said between those those two on Twitter. There is some meaning, there is significance. This isn't a work, it isn't a ploy, it isn't a storyline. I guess there is some heat and the impact of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, and this is intriguing to me. And I, I, I guess Vince McMahon is still, you know, there's rumors and speculation that Vince McMahon is still not red hot on a Kevin Owens or a Sami Zayn. So I mean that. And then what about this, viewers and subscribers? This is huge news this is this is top news this is breaking news remember to share subscribe and refresh my youtube channel multiple times a day so you're always in the know and you never miss one video or upload you never ever want to miss what i do here on this channel matt hardy could own the broken character very soon under the WWE banner. Now, that is absolutely huge, and that is very crucial to the development and the progress and how far Matt Hardy goes in the WWE. Because I said it before, and I'll say it again, I don't think Matt Hardy can go too far in the WWE, you know, under the fundamentals he is right now. I mean, yeah, it's, it's cool to see the Hardy boys back. It's cool to see that. But we've seen that. We've been there. You know, we've been down that road. So for Matt Hardy to bring the bro the broken gimmick to the WWE, it would be anticipating. It would be successful. It would be overtaking. It would be breathtaking. It would be something that we haven't seen from Matt Hardy in WWE ever. And, you know, can you imagine how much that character could be enhanced in the WWE with all the things that the WWE can do from graphics and, and um, video and images and stories and intrigue and compelling and and all those things i mean the ww would make that broken gimmick stand out more than ever before but there was rumors that before this before we thought that matt hardy could get legal legal you know leadership and ownership of that name and the rights to that name there was rumors that vince McMahon wasn't interested in bringing the broken character back but now that matt hardy could have placement of this and matt hardy could you know, own this, and Matt Hardy could have this, you got to assume that Vince McMahon would be interested in it again. But that's if Impact Wrestling doesn't respond um, to the whole who owns it, who has ownership, who has the rights. And because I, I guarantee this would put Matt Hardy right into main event contention. This would put Matt Hardy right into the main event. This would make Matt Hardy stick out and stand out like ever before. I mean, you want to know about the prestige and the illusion, the illusion behind Matt Hardy. But you got to wonder when Jeff Hardy comes back, what would that speak to him? What would that say to him? What would be the future of the Hardy Boys? Me, I want to see the broken gimmick in the WWE because it is one of the most interesting. It is one of the most unique characters over the last five years in professional wrestling. There's no doubt about that. So viewers and subscribers, we have covered the hottest, the latest news, rumors, and headlines in world wrestling entertainment. But ladies and gentlemen, you think that's it. You think it's all done. But ladies and gentlemen, there is a lot of rumors and speculations that Neville could see his way back to the WWE if things are getting better, if something doesn't get in the way. And I want to see Neville come back. I, I do. And this was a report that went out a few days ago, but there's more rumors and speculation that the WWE is trying to work on something with Neville. And, and I hope they do because Neville is such a great talent. Such a great high flyer. Um, and Adam Cole was busted open at Thursday's NXT live event. And viewers and subscribers, we learned that the War Games match will have two cages, but there will not be a roof on top of the cages. And the ru and the rumors and the reasoning behind that is, is because of the fact that the WWE wants to allow more freedom and more clearance and, you know, more of an identity. And, you know, they, obviously the WWE doesn't want to follow WCW or NWA tradition to a T. They, they want to switch it up. They want to make it different. They want to make it dynamic. And, you know, it, it just limits creativity if you have a roof on top of the cage. Because obviously you can't go outside the cage. You, can, you know, you can't do a hip, to, uh, you know, you can't do a, a swanton bomb. You can't do a high cross body off the top of the cage. Um, you know, so, you know, I can see where Triple H is coming from there, but, you know, just to get that, that organic, that feel, that, you know, that, that, that genuine feel of war games, it would have been nice to see the top on the, because, I mean, with the Hell in the Cell, but I know the top on the cage, you know, obviously the cage is a lot lower than the Hell in the Cell is. Um, and, and people always get outside the Hell in the Cell anyways, but the, the War Games match wasn't meant to get outside the cage. It was supposed to be within the confines and make it, you know, as, as violent and, and as, um, sadistic, as, I guess, as you could make that match. 
Um, plans for the final participant on the women's SmackDown team. Rumors that it's going to be Nikki Bella or Paige coming back. See, that's why you can't shut Sean's view in the table. When I do a longer video, when I do an extended version of rumors, news, and headlines, you cannot shut the video off in five or six minutes. you got to go at least ten minutes. You have to go because the news and rumors keeps picking up. As I'm doing this live, there could be breaking news. There could be rumors. There could be headlines. That's why you have to stick with me, and that's why you have to stay with the brash and brazen Sean's view entertainment that will not be overtaken. Viewers and subscribers, Chris Jericho, Vince McMahon, WWE, what is going on there? There's a lot of rumors and news on that. There's a lot more stories I will be covering. I will be here for Survivor Series. I will be covering the Survivor Series. And you know, it's funny because War Games, usually the NXT pay-per-views are better than WWE pay-per-views. But this NXT pay-per-view, it's all right. It's okay. But Survivor Series, for, for once, for once, I am more intrigued and compelled and more interested in a WWE pay-per-view than an NXT. Because usually NXT is over the top and it's exciting and it's invigorating and it's all those things. But I can honestly say I am more excited and I am more amped for Survivor Series than I am War Games. And, you know, I think with the WWE bringing back War Games for NXT, there should have been such such much more significance in high-profile matches and more aura. I, I mean, like I said, a couple of the matches I, I want to see, and, and I will watch NXT tonight, War Games. I will watch it. War games, uh, you know, but it, it, it's 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 just not going to have that feeling or that aura of what WCW and NWA had. It, it it's just not. I'm, I'm just going to call a spade a spade. It, it isn't. The Rock went out and made fun uh, of his Survivor Series debut all the way back in 1996 as Rocky Maivia, and we all know The Rock has trailblazed and eyebrow raised a heck of a lot since then. He's come a long way since the days of Rocky Maivia, and a lot of that we can credit to Vince Russo, who is a former WWE creative head writer. So viewers and subscribers, we talked about the plans for AJ Styles versus Brock Lesnar. A surprise victory by AJ Styles, perhaps. Or then again, Brock Lesnar could get the win off a Jinder Mahal interference. Um, you know, David Otunga, you know, wants something to do with his kid. He wants to see his kid. He wants to be involved in his kid's life. But the girl doesn't want him to be involved. She wants full custody. She wants full ownership. She wants full dictatorship. I don't know. It's sick, it's sad, and it's disgusting. But once again, if David Otunga did do something to warrant the fact that she doesn't want him to see their kid, well then, once again, David Otunga isn't the wrong. Listen, when someone is wrong, they're wrong. When they're right, I'll say they're right. But in this instance, from what I'm hearing right now as of this video, I don't see any reason why Otunga can't see his kid unless, once again, he did something that was so brutal and so volatile and so horrible and so, um, you know, just sick and degrading. But, I mean... I, I think, you know, you should get a second chance and, and, you know, if you prove yourself and if you're real and if you can, you know, overcome and once again, if, if you can do that, I think, you know, the girls should allow the father to see their kid. I, I really do. Once again, especially if there's no horrible past there. I know when you think of a wrestler, you think of, oh, this guy's big, he's bad, he's strong, you know, he's, you know, he, he's probably, you know, he's very volatile and not, not all wrestlers are like that. I mean, a lot of these wrestlers don't play up their gimmick in real life. I mean, they're they're a character. You know, they're, they're something you get invested in. They're something you get interested in. So you, you can't really go by what you see on television. So viewers and subscribers, this has been the brash, the last right now. This is it's never gonna be the last. Let's let's call. Let's be honest. It's not gonna be the last. But this is the last of the brash right now. Right now. Not to say that there's a lot more to come. There's plenty, plenty, plenty more to come from the brash one, and we're going to make it significant. More to come from Sean's Entertainment. Refresh, share, subscribe. More to come later.